everyone. Welcome to Storytime. It's me, Josh. Today we're reading The Blue Book of Fairy Tales. It's a little golden book and we're very lucky today. There's actually three stories in here. What? There's three stories in here. So like the Dr. Seuss ones, we split them into, into this one's going to be split into three bits, but I'll leave the light on, then just jump over to the next video and you can watch the other story then. And then the same for the third one. Whew. It's a big one for stories today. We've got three goodies. Here we go. The Blue Book of Fairy Tales. I wonder what the first fairy tale is going to be. Get comfortable. Get ready wherever you are because we're about to delve into story time. Here we go. Here we go. The Blue Book of Fairy Tales. Three stories with pictures by Gordon Light. Here we go. The first one is Rapunzel. You might have heard of it. Here we go. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. You know that one? Yep. All right, here we go. Once there lived a good man and his wife. Near their house was a beautiful garden, but they did not dare go into it because it belonged to a terrible witch. One day the woman noticed a bed of fresh radishes. Oh, I must have some, she said to her husband. Unless I can have some, I know I shall die. The good husband loved his wife very much. That night he climbed over the wall into the garden and picked a handful of radishes. The witch caught him. Thief! cried the witch. How dare you steal my radishes? You shall pay for this. Be merciful, begged the man. My wife is dying of longing for your radishes. Very well, the witch said. Take all the radishes your wife can eat. In return, you must give your first child to me. Uh-oh. Soon a baby was born. The witch took her away and named her Rapunzel, which means radish. She was the most beautiful child under the sun. When Rapunzel was twelve, the witch shut her high up in a tower and had no suitcase nor door. When the witch wanted to come up, she called Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. You want to say it with me? Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Then Rapunzel unwound her long golden braids and the witch climbed up. With each year, Rapunzel grew more beautiful. One day, a handsome prince heard her singing. He rode to the tower and cried, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Then he climbed up. When they saw each other, the prince and Rapunzel immediately fell in love. Rapunzel promised to marry the prince as soon as she could escape from the tower. But the wicked witch discovered the plan. In a rage, she cut off Rapunzel's hair and sent her off to live in the wilderness. Then she waited in the tower to trap the prince. That evening, the prince climbed the golden rope of hair. Instead of his beloved Rapunzel, he found the horrid witch. Rapunzel is mine, she screamed. You shall die for trying to steal her. The prince leapt from the window. He fell into a thorn bush and was blinded. For many years, he wandered through the woods, weeping for Rapunzel. One day, the prince heard a beautiful song. He walked toward it. The voice was Rapunzel's, and she wept with joy to see her prince again. Two of her tears fell on his eyes. Instantly, he could see. Then the prince took Rapunzel to his kingdom, and they lived happily ever after. Oh, what a nice little story. A little recap of Rapunzel, a, a big story that most people know. If you, if you don't, now you do know it. You've heard of it already. It's cool to hear that little version from the Blue Book of Fairy Tales. Rapunzel's a cool story. Looking forward to reading the next one. It's Beauty and the Beast. Alrighty, I'll talk to you really, really, really soon. I'm going to leave the light on and I'll be back to read Beauty and the Beast pronto. Bye for now, but not forever. I'm Josh. This is Storytime.